So what's good, homies? It's your man, Dr. BOA. There's one thing that all of us are going to have to understand. Every woman is a groupie for someone. The luckiest men among us end up finding the woman who's our groupie. But most of us don't. And this has been something that's been going on since, since Hollywood began, since athletes started playing on television, since... You know, since guys started making more money and driving fancier cars and all of these things, sometimes young women are, you know, groupies for older men. Sometimes older women are groupies for younger men. Sometimes women are groupies for entertainers or, or even wrestlers. I had a chick man once tell me that the only man she leave me for was Stone Cold Steve Austin, you know, the wrestler. And this is a black girl. Say she leave me for Stone Cold Steve Austin. Say that's the only man I got to worry about. And what was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to get mad about it? No, she just let me know who she was a groupie for. And this isn't bad or good. It's just true. Some of you guys are groupies for certain women. A lot of you guys be talking bad about Megan Thee Stallion, but I guarantee a bunch of you guys can't wait for her video to come on because you're a groupie for Megan Thee Stallion. Some of you guys are groupies for other women. Some of you guys are groupies for Cardi B. Some of you guys are groupies for any of these rap chicks or any of these Instagram models or any of these video girls. You guys understand this dynamic. So there's nothing to get upset about. You just have to accept it. And you have to make the adjustment in your mind about what's going on with your woman. Now, somebody sent me a video on IG, man. Quick video where this chick came across rapper Yellow Beezy. And she was on the phone with her boyfriend. She hung up from him, take the picture with Yellow Beezy. Homie kept calling back. She blocked his number so she can get a picture. And she's online talking about it. You know, her and Yellow Beezy are laughing about it. And... A lot of people in the comments said that this guy should be thoroughly upset, but I don't think so. Let's take a deep dive on this one. But first, let's elevate to a higher plane. Prepare for takeoff. Now, the reality of the scenario is this. You have to accept the reality of life. You know, in the alpha sphere, that's one of our mantras. You have to embrace and accept the truths of your life, not the truths of the world or society at large, the truths of your life. And the truth of your life is nine times out of 10, if you got a woman, she's somebody groupie. There's some guy on television or somewhere, he may be the manager at the local grocery store. Now you're in the worst shape. If your woman is a groupie for somebody that's local, Ah, uh, man, there's a chance, man, that that boy going to be able to get it in with your woman, bro. You might well accept that. But if she's a groupie for a celebrity, nine times out of ten, it's just not going to, the scenario is not going to occur where she's going to be able to act out on any type of fantasy, anything she might have. So you may be safe. Even in this case, all she did was took a picture. What's the problem? Girls go on girls trips all the time and do much more than take pictures. So this guy should just understand that when his woman told him, hey, I'm about to take a picture with Yellow Beezy. All that jealousy. I know that's what happened. That's the only reason she blocked him is if he jumped into a jealous rage. Like, no, you're going you to get off the phone with me. Take a picture with Yellow Beezy. You're going to say you got to be honest with you and who you are. If this guy's a celebrity, a rich celebrity, and you're just a normal dude. Probably still in school because this chick was young. Look like she in school. This dude probably in school somewhere. So you can never let the image of another man intimidate you. And that's why I tell you men to dive into who you are. Embrace yourself and build that, that person into the most alpha version of yourself. And you won't have these issues. Let's take a quick listen to this video, man. And we'll come back and chop it up on a real tip. What just happened? I just ran into Yellow uh -huh. And then what, what happened? What, what, you hung up with your boyfriend and then what you do to his number? I had a boyfriend so I could get my picture. Because he kept on calling. Yeah. I, I feel special. <laughs> now, granted, it does seem a little bit worse now that she's on camera laughing with BZ about it. Yeah, it seems a little worse, but it doesn't change the fact that all she did was take a picture. So what would this guy do if his woman wanted to take a picture with Yellow Bees and he was with her? Would he be like, nah. Nah, nah, obviously the woman's going to do it anyway. And then you end up feeling like a sucker because in your mind, she went against what you wanted her to do. Well, let me tell you something. 
A woman ain't gonna never do what you want her to do unless it's what she wants to do. Will she pacify you and act like she's gonna obey you a little bit just to get what she wants out of you? Of course, we all know this. When it comes to that, women are master manipulators and making you believe that they agree with you or go along with what you're saying or that you're the boss or any of that. So that's why I tell you guys, you have to give her work. It's almost like a, a worksheet in school. You have to give her a worksheet, a honey-do list, things to complete to show that her actions will match her words. But this guy's young. He doesn't know anything about this. In his case, he should just accept the fact that this is just his girlfriend. They're just going through the motions. She's young to her. A guy who wears a lot of jewelry or whatever is, is, is impressive. And he's, he's more popular than whoever this guy is, obviously. And you have to understand that it doesn't mean she wants to be with the guy. Women are just drawn to powerful figures. They're just drawn to powerful figures. Uh, I had a chick, I was chilling with a chick once, man, and uh, she had an opportunity to meet um, Bill Clinton. And she said that just the aura, his aura in the room, we're talking about Bill Clinton. We're talking about the same dude who couldn't even get a clean, a clean, you know, dome job at the White House without getting jammed up. This dude is a dunce. But just the power he exuded in the room by being the most powerful man in the country in one room. It doesn't mean that she wanted him. It just means that that power is addictive to women. That's just what it is. The bottom line is this. You put yourself in the best position you can be in in life. And then you're less concerned about that. You have to look at yourself and your strengths. as the most powerful thing a woman can have. My motto is this. And you need to get to this point when it comes to dealing with women. You need to be at the point in life where you can say. I'm not saying you couldn't do better than me. I'm saying you can't do better than me because there is no better than me. If there was better than me, hey, who knows? But I'm the best you can do because I'm the best available. And you have to say it and you have to mean it. You can't just say it because Dr. B.O.A. said it. you got to say it. And I know some beta male said, man, Johnny going to come in here and say, whoa, Dr. B.O.A., I tried that. And it didn't even, the one wasn't even convinced, man. Cause, you know, I was kind of shuffling over my words and, you know, I really didn't believe it too much. But you say, all I got to do is say it, Dr. B.O.A. See, I tell these guys all the time, they can't listen to you. This stuff you say work, don't work for nobody but you. And you know what, Dr. B.O.A., I damn sure believe it don't even work for you. You know what? I told you, you ain't nothing but a liar. You're the, the devil and the truth ain't in you. Unsubscribe. Okay, unsubscribe, sucker. But before you go, let me tell you this. Nothing is going to work for you except building yourself up into the best version of yourself. When you look at yourself in the mirror and you say, I'm the very best I can be, there's a certain mindset that takes over you. You start to feel invincible. You start to feel untouchable. You start to feel like no one is on your level, no matter what they do in life. And that's the level I'm on. Why? because I've taken the time over these years to eliminate all the negativity around me, all the negative thoughts, all the negative people, and I've surrounded myself with nothing but positive energy. Everybody around me thinks I'm the ch Wait a minute. Everybody around me think I'm the shit. And anybody who decides one day they wake up and feel like I'm not the boo-boo anymore, then they can get off the boo-boo and be gone. I'll be on this mountain by myself, talking to God. Because he going to always believe that I am who I am. Because he made me this way. I want you men to stop focusing on what women do. And simply focus on what you can control. You're an idiot if you focus on things you can't control. I'm talking about a complete and total idiot. You don't deserve any blessings in life if you waste your time. The limited amount of time you have on this planet. Focusing on things you can't control. If you want to take a picture with Yellow Beezy, cool. Let her take it. If she want to go home with Yellow Beezy, cool. Let her go. If she want to marry Yellow Beezy, cool. Let her go. Because you ain't got no choice but to let her go. She going to do what she wants to do. And you should just be happy. I won't say happy. You should be okay with the fact that at least she told you. It didn't just rush you off the phone and go do something. See, the problem with guys is you have a problem with what a woman does. Don't have a problem with what she does in the light. You should be focused on understanding what she does in the dark. Because that's where all the secrets lie. So, hey, man, if you got a woman right now, she's somebody's groupie. 
could be anybody. If it's yours, if you're her groupie, if she's your groupie rather, if you're the one that she sees as the, the light of the world, the apple of her eye, like you're the truth, like nobody's above you, you better marry that girl right now. Real talk, because I promise you, she's the only one that views you like that. Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic, man. I look forward to hearing what you men have to say. I'm out.